So this is actually pretty interesting. So uh, as you guys know, Elizabeth Warren has been waffling on Medicare for All. Her transition plan is ridiculous. Her plan is to institute a Medicare public option. And then three years in uh, to that transition period, she's going to re- uh, organized to try to pass a Medicare for All bill, which is one of the craziest things that I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, the thing is, is a lot of people back then pointed out that she didn't really talk about health care very much. And, in fact, it was right before one of the debates, she finally put something up on her website in the issues portion for health care. And so that indicates to us, health care is not the biggest issue for Elizabeth Warren, and she doesn't seem to care about it very much. Now, a lot of people are pointing out that her daughter seems to work in the uh, private health insurance industry or the health insurance industry, so maybe that's a reason. I don't know. Uh, but this is funny. The New York Times is actually exposing her for this. This NY Times article says, Elizabeth Warren isn't talking much about Medicare for All anymore. There are signs her campaign is seeking to calm fears about her health care proposal, including having small meetings with rural Iowa voters to explain her financing and transition plans. So... It says, but Ms. Warren herself is barely speaking of the proposal. After months of attacks from other candidates and questions and some blowback from both liberals and moderates, the most ambitious and expensive of Ms. Warren's many plans, and the one most likely to transform the lives of voters, is just a passing mention in her standard stump speech, rarely explored in depth unless a questioner brings it up. I expected her to talk more about the health care for all stuff. Definitely, said Max Goldwyn, 53, who attended Miss Warren's rally in Clorinda. Referring to her campaign, he added, I think they know it's controversial. Um, and, you know, it says, this one says, Bernie, he's strong on Medicare for all, and she didn't really bring it up, Mr. Thornton said. She was a little more scattered on it than I expected. So she's basically not really talking about it at all, which is really remarkable. And, you know... She just doesn't seem to talk about it. Now, why is it that the issue is not, you know, important to her? Because as you guys know, what is the most, if I were to ask you, what is the most important issue for Bernard Sanders? Your answer immediately, healthcare, Medicare for all. That's immediately the thing that you answer with because that's the most important issue to him. Healthcare is also the most important issue to me because healthcare is literally life or death, whether you're living or dying. There's nothing more important than that, okay? No way anything's, the only thing you could argue is maybe corruption because that affects healthcare, which is debatable, but I still, for me, it's healthcare is number one. So what this tells me is Elizabeth Warren doesn't believe in Medicare for all. She's also been shoddy because I've seen Stephen Colbert try to set it up for her to basically dunk on the nonsense bogus that is the talking point of, oh, you're going to raise, uh, you know, middle class taxes, when really what's going to end up happening is it's going to be an effective savings for, you know, the person with insurance, you know, the middle class family, the poor person, because while they'll be raising taxes, it'll be, you know, a small amount. And what will happen is you're not paying premiums, co-pays, and you won't have any deductibles. So you'll save money. You won't be paying any fucking massive premiums anymore. You won't be paying co-pays, you know, and you won't have deductibles anymore. So no out-of-cost payments. So what you've got to understand is that's a ridiculous point, and she's refused to hammer on that, and it's embarrassing. People are pointing out that her daughter is also working in the industry, so is that you know possibly the reason why? Yeah, it's definitely possible, certainly, that that affects her. But the most important thing of this is, on the most important issue, undoubtedly, which is health care, she simply is not the right candidate for it, point blank. And so I thought I'd, I'd let you guys know, Bernie Sanders has even done an entire town hall on health care. And I saw a reporter who follows Michael Bennett and Bernie Sanders say that it's never happened where a questioner at one of his town halls does not ask about health care. So keep that in mind when you're voting for your candidate, folks. Another reason why Bernie Sanders is superior to Elizabeth Warren.